Yo, what's up, Cern fam? I want to show you how I made this preset. <laughs> EQ really made this yoinky, yoink, yoink sound. Whoa, let me get that out. So I started off with a Spectral Monster 8. This table is really, it was very like growly, had it 185. And this is a basic table that we all have, so. And I had it down, two octaves down and three symptoms up and the fine tune 100 down just to throw it off when you're playing with the other weight table. So, just like that, I had the unison going up eight to give it some stereo, some depth. And we're gonna modulate the volume knob right quick. We're gonna make a shape like this, like a little hump. We're gonna trigger it, turn on the triplets, half triplet step, throw on the flange filter, negative flange, turn A, B in the keyboard. And we're gonna set it to like 450 and negative 16. The resonance, we're gonna modulate that as well. So we're gonna go 27% and negative 19. Turn up the drive a little bit, turn up the filter radiation. And it's gonna give the like little resonant metallic sound in the back. And we're just gonna modulate the rate right quick. So we're gonna go in the matrix, LFO2, source, modulating FO1, the rate. Going one way, turn it up to like 26. And we're gonna make a shape like this. Trigger it, two bars. We're just gonna make something like this. So we're gonna try to make a bup 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 bup. So we're gonna have that shape right there for the mod uh, L two rate modulating L four one. We're gonna go on the FX page. Turn on the filter. Bring it to the top. High pass filter. And we're gonna modulate that. It's gonna be a 72 hertz, 45 going one way. The resonance, we're gonna modulate that, 35. Turn up the drive a little bit, turn the frequency. We're gonna modulate this going both ways. So we got around 66, negative 34. I notice when you do the frequency, you know, going backwards both ways, it gives it more of a yoinky effect, you want to call it. And I had the hyper dimension on, just like that. I had a phaser, turn the phaser all the way off, the rate, turn up the feed, I mean, turn on the feed, turn up the phase, and this this actually uh, eliminates some of the f annoying frequencies in the mid-range, so that's why I, I chose that. And the chorus is gonna add some, like, stereo effect like a static stereo effect. Um, actually, the depth is gonna be up and the feed is down. Turn down the mix. We're gonna modulate that going up halfway. And a compressor, do it all the way, limit and attack. Turn it up, turn down the release. Turn the gain. And I took some of the mids out to uh, clear the sound up and the lows, just around there. The EQ is the main part of this sound. We're gonna turn the gain down we're gonna modulate the the frequency mid-range. So I had this around 120 and 80. It was uh, a little bit different on this side. We're gonna turn on the gain. We're gonna turn on the frequency, negative 23, at 17, just like that. Let's see how it sounds. Just like that. And a couple more things, we're gonna do the synth. I use the SK Custom Cool Shapes. I'm gonna give you this in the bottom of the description. I'm gonna turn up the unison on this as well. Turn on detune. And I had a sync modulating that going both ways. And the octave on this was going positive one and negative three. And uh, throw the LFO 1 on the volume knob, going like 30. And we're going to do the two more things, the bright noise, bright white. We're going to modulate the level. It's going to be like that. 
this pitch is going to be around there. And we're going to modulate the pitch. We're going to create something like this. Man, I'm bad today. Maybe it's because I recorded this video like 10 times. And half of the time the mic was off. <laughs> something like this. And um, we're going to throw this. We're going to throw this on both of the pitches on A and B. It's going to go both ways at negative 9. Also right here, negative nine. And go ahead and throw the sub on it, down two octaves, direct out and modulate with alpha one. And, uh, put down trigger and two bar, my bad. So this is the final edit, so do another LFO on the filter. Just modulating even, even more, it gave it a more like a moving sound so just that I had it like this shaped had it at four and go back to the matrix and get LFO 2 to modulate it and this is around like eight seven hope you enjoyed this video more videos are coming soon Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. <laughs>